Hi Aries, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. This is a general love reading, so it may or may not resonate. If it doesn't resonate with you, feel free to check your other placements to see what else comes up for you. What do we have for Aries when it comes to love? What is coming up for Aries in love? Okay. Social media and relationship. Oh, some of you may be on... Maybe getting into a relationship soon with someone that you've been seeing on social media. Someone you probably like. I'm getting that for some of you. Intuitively, I'm getting that if you see someone you like and you like send them a message, like it will work out. It will turn out to be a relationship. But that's only if you feel like taking that risk, you know, uh, telling you to go and take the leap. But I just got the sense that Something you think won't work out could really work out. Something that you think is just like a little crush, a little fantasy could turn into a relationship. Well, let's see, Aries, we have mystery and crossroads. So a lot of you are trying to make decisions at the moment, I guess when it comes to love or maybe it's your general life here. But there's something mysterious going on in your love department it could be that you meet someone mysterious or that it works out in a mysterious way and i was getting that vibe like something that you think is not gonna happen or not gonna work out will work out so what do we have for aries give it time so yeah if you had your eye on someone maybe give it some time look for some signs open up unexpected <laughs> your favorite card but in a different deck like i said for a lot of you you're not going to expect to end up in a relationship with someone that you've been seeing maybe you think that this person is too good or maybe they're a celebrity or something or like just have a lot of followers i don't know it's something to do with social media Maybe you think they won't notice you because they have such a big page or they're so popular or something like that. We have know your worth, you deserve better. So you are um, attracting better into your life because you know your worth here. So there could be a relationship you left that just wasn't worth your time. The person was wasting your time. You being patient and you... Um, Knowing your worth is what's bringing something really unexpected into your life. Some of you are just going to feel like... Some of you are going to be wondering if you deserve it. Like, how did... I feel like you're going to be wondering, how did I... How did I manage to get this? You know? I'm hearing, don't doubt yourself. So what do we have for Aries? When it comes to love, what's coming up for Aries? letting go of someone who just isn't as financially secure as they try to appear to be that's a quick little side message i'm getting this person is kind of feeling like you walked away from them there is someone coming towards you could be aries leo sagittarius we got taurus energy um someone's coming at you quite passionately quite fast it could be someone catching feelings for you fast Some of you are dealing with like a younger person or just someone who I don't feel like this is the person that you're attracting as in the, the great relationship you're going to attract. This could be someone from the past or someone you're currently dealing with who you're feeling like they may be a bit too young or just not ready to be with you. Um, you have the Ace of Swords. So you have a, a beginning that you never thought would happen. There's a new beginning that you never thought would happen. You're coming out very triumphant. There, I'm picking up on a lot of self-doubt. So this is at a time when you're really doubting yourself and something something great happens and you're just like, 
how does this even happen? Like, you just don't, I feel like a lot of you in that moment are not really realizing your power at the time when you get this great relationship or whatever is coming into your life. Um, it's not that you doubting yourself would block this. It's just that you shouldn't doubt yourself in general, just in life, because I don't know, there's this feeling of you just feeling like, oh, that should be for someone else, not for me type of thing. Um, there is a connection there's a, there's a connection that's not very significant for some of you like there's this energy of it just being a short term thing um, that you're currently dealing with or dealt with in the past you may be back and forth with someone who you just don't really see a future with but they're just here so you just go in with it some of you we have Scorpio energy and Cancer the person that there's someone here who doesn't want to let you go so that you might find that they keep reappearing in your life because they don't like change and they don't want to let you go but you have this three of ones energy where you're looking to see what else is out there and know that a lot of you are unsatisfied with some situation that you have right now you're unsatisfied with something or you were unsatisfied with something but there's greater coming and you know it and you feel it and that's why it's like you're probably looking at the current person or the past person like mm, there's got to be more than this but I'm being drawn to give it time, so definitely give it time if that's how you feel. Because you got this high priestess energy here. I feel like there's a strong spiritual union come in to you. It could be a spirit guide or a past loved one, particularly a female, a strong female who is just standing there making this happen for you like bringing you and this person together this soulmate the real person you you're supposed to be with what's blocking what's blocking this situation is that some of you it could be that the person you like is long distance or far away maybe you plan to move or you just kind of haven't made up your mind because it connects with the crossroads card so you're kind of, i feel like some of you are stuck between the old version of you and the new version the new version of you knows his or his or her worth and knows that you want you know that you want more then there's this old version of you that kind of just settles with the old you know just goes along with relationships that you know are not you don't see a future with the person but you're just there so you have to kind of if you really want this new situation to come in, you have to really step into the new version of you and not be in between these two doors because the in-between is like the waiting room. Nothing's going to happen until you really like step into the real new you. Let go of past things that are not working for you. Be alone for a little bit. Give it time and you'll see this unexpected blessing show up for you. Um, yeah, so I'm hearing that some of you is best to set someone free if you feel like they're not for you because you're holding them back and they're holding you back. It's a tough thing to do, I guess, but there shouldn't be any fear of being alone. The key is that you are, that you become a whole person. You're able to be alone. You're able to be by yourself and then the real love comes in. Yeah, okay. So, there is someone that some of you might cut off. Or there's someone who you're seeing as a liar as well. Like, they're not being real about their financial situation. Def some of you are definitely dealing with someone who likes the front as if they have more money than they actually do have. They may be very um, just irresponsible with their money with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Somewhat immature. And just you just don't see a future there why the knight of wands they're gonna keep running back to you with this person because i feel like you're too good for this person <laughs> you're too good for this person and it could be a situation where 
for example you make them look good you know this person really wants to front like they are bigger than they actually are so you may having you on their arm or being with you maybe you're a little bit popular or really good looking you make them look good so they keep running back and your your part in this is that some of you don't want to be alone or you're just in it for the fun you know if you i'm hearing that if you really want something serious you gotta be in that energy and that frequency frequency of wanting something serious and knowing that this person isn't some someone you would want something serious with you're letting the universe know that you're not ready <laughs> so it's like stepping into that knowing what you want and letting go of what obviously isn't serving you will bring this blessing in this person just wants to be in and out they see you as a big deal you know someone they can they can kind of gain some att some attention from your energy you make them look good you're a good look for them is what i'm hearing you're a good look for them and that's what that's just basically what they want so this person can be quite shallow just one in this really public image but not really being about it for a lot of you if this was a serious relationship i do see them um I'm, I'm getting this memory of something i watched about a woman um she owned the house and the man she wanted to divorce him but he he wanted to keep up that image so he got rid of her you know removed her from earth so that he could still just so he could still portray as if the house was his and that he had money basically that's what i'm seeing not that that's gonna happen to you of course not but just i'm seeing someone who would just go so far or go far to keep something that you gave to them some kind of image some kind of status or even maybe it's even money but i see you being indecisive aries you're being indecisive and you really do need to decide what you want so it comes to you now as that card says it's not even out but that's what i'm hearing Decide what you want, clearly decide what you want so it can come to you now. I heard that so clear, it's not even funny. And it's an actual card from the Romance Angels deck, which I'm not even using today. So, <laughs> why the Nine of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, some of, you are, some of you, this is someone you're divorcing. Again, it could be that you have a lot more than them. This person may have a hard time seeing past the material world. They may not, they just may be shallow. You know, they don't see anything past the material. Whereas you may be more spiritual and able to like looking for a deeper love than just a show why the three of pentacles in reverse high priestess you see what i mean like you are looking for deeper like you're really oh we have the aries full moon that's why the aries full moon is actually happening right now as i do this reading i got up at what five o'clock five a.m so the moon was still out when i started now it's kind of daylight but the energy of the full moon is still there and it's in aries so you're feeling like highly spiritual right now highly highly connected your intuition is popping and there's some situation that you just feel is not serving you and you just know there is there's more for you tell me some more about this three of pentacles in reverse for aries some of you are even removing yourself from certain um social circles um, a lot of you are revisiting the past, healing something in your childhood. Going backwards so that you can go forwards is what I'm hearing. So a lot of you are healing your past. Past relationships, childhood. Very spiritual right now. And this is the time for you, Aries, to do that. So yes, do it. Some of you may have just been drawn to meditate more. Drawn to be more spiritual. Look at me, I even bought new crystals. <laughs> 
So, yeah. It's time for you to do this. Your intuition is not lying to you. This person isn't, you know, ready to be with someone like you and you should aim higher and you will get what you aim for. Why the Ace of Swords? You got a lot of doubt, Aries. This is your self-doubt. This Ace of Swords is representing what you thought wouldn't happen. Ace of Swords is a new beginning when you, like against all odds, thinking that you're gonna fail and you actually end up succeeding. It's because of this self-doubt that you have. There's some insecurity there because of the past where you kind of just think things are gonna fail or think it's just gonna be the way, it, the way it's always been. But if you're doing the work, which I see a lot of you are, how could you think that you're not going to get blessed? You're removing negative things that caused you to have negative outcomes. Of course, you're, gonna, you're about to have a positive outcome. See, so you, you really got to stop doubting. I know it's hard to believe in like these kinds of miracles and stuff. But just think about the fact that you're removing negative stuff. And when you remove negative stuff, you, you're replacing it. Well, you make sure that you're replacing it with positive stuff positive energy, positive affirmations and visualizations of what you really want. You can't be surprised when you get it. I'm seeing the um, the analogy of, like, let's say you're getting all the weeds, you got a garden, you're getting all the weeds out, you start planting seeds and watering it. How can you be surprised when flowers start growing and your garden starts looking pretty? Why would you be surprised? Why would you doubt that these seeds are not going to grow? You've done everything you needed to do, or you're doing everything, you're removing the weeds, everything that, if anything bad that will block these roses and plant these flowers from growing, you're getting rid of those things. So you can't be surprised. Why the page of swords in reverse? Um, okay. You see what I mean? This person offers not this is a very clear message. This person offers absolutely nothing to you. This is how you're seeing them. Or maybe you're gonna see that once you start meditating more and your intuition starts to open up even more. If you're not seeing it now, you're gonna see that this person ain't offering nothing to you. They don't even put in much effort. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. They definitely don't have as much money as they say they do. And if you are dealing with someone who is wealthy, maybe they're just wealthy, but they don't have any spiritual wealth. Like they're just on the surface. They're just wealthy in the third dimension, in the physical realm, but they don't have any depth. There's something that this person just isn't op offering to you and you know that they're lying about something. Your intuition is kicking. That's what I'm hearing. I don't know why I just heard that. I already told you that, but I just heard it again. Intuition is kicking. I just heard stop doubt. So basically stop doubting it. Why the seven of swords in reverse? Mm, yeah, this, per this person, wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. There's something with this person. They they kind of doubt you. They see that you're that you spend a lot of time by yourself, that you do your own thing. You're taking time, you're taking a break, but they also feel like they also see you as kind of doubting. Like, for example, if you told this person you're done with them, you're not coming back, they kind of think that you're that you're lying, that you're still gonna come back to them, because maybe you did in the past. They don't believe that you're actually done with them. They think, oh, you always say that you'll be back. They don't know that you got a full moon in Aries right now. So they just think you're going to be the old you. <laughs> Why the King of Pentacles? Look at this King of Pentacles as the outcome. I didn't even realize this is hold on. Why the King of Pentacles is the outcome for Aries? nine of cups this is amazing getting your wish come true 
You're going from this Five of Pentacles to this Strength card. And this is the transformation that's happening for you with the Death card. You're definitely going to be out with the old. This is like representing the old you and the new you. I didn't want to say anything about this King of Pentacles because I was going to say that it's either... This is either the person you're attracting into your life or this is you. Or it could be both. Maybe you're both in this King of Pentacles energy where you are aligned with someone new who knows what they want just like you do or you're about to because a lot of you haven't made that decision yet so when you finally do make that decision when you finally become someone who knows what they want that's when you'll attract someone who knows what they want because some of you are still entertaining um i'm getting this memory of this video that i watched of this man he was saying you know a lot of you are witches and does that doesn't mean that you're a witch but this is what he's saying is it saying a lot of you are witches but you're out here like you're witches and you're powerful you got spiritual power but you're out here dating these basic ass men <laughs> who don't have no spiritual backing they're just you know you're basically wasting your time with these you know f boys types you know that you know are not worthy of you so whether it's male or female you're dealing with, some of you are just way too powerful to be wasting time with, with the king of wands. <laughs> Sorry, not the king of wands, the knight of wands, basically. You don't have time for the knight of wands because a lot of you are high priestess and also king of wands and queen of wands. So you, you know that when a knight of wands comes into your life, you kind of know that they're a little bit below you. They're still running around. You know, they're just not ready. You know this. And I feel I was hearing that this, the new moon in Aries is definitely uncovering this for Aries. It's definitely going to show Aries people in particular, or anyone with Aries in their chart, to realize that <laughs> you should not be dealing with these surface people you see who have who have these people who have no spiritual backing they don't believe in nothing if you start talking about spirituality they get scared or they, they tell you that it's weird it's not real you don't have time for those people we have oops, we have grief and sadness what do we have for Aries contracts some of you may be marrying this new person or it's just a commitment dead end so there's something you know there's a, there's a dead end relationship here and it only brings you sadness and grief so what's the point breakups and makeups they're just in and out of your life because they are the knight of wands <laughs> which you don't have time for even if you're not looking for commitment commitment you still don't want to be wasting your time with someone who may just even be draining your energy using you to make themselves look good wasting your time you could be doing better things with your time what do we have for aries when it comes to love past love in the past 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 lover wallflower limited potential shy withholding this could be a person that you're dealing with here they don't have a lot of potential You know, it's just young male, see? Sporty cars, youthful. Some of you are dealing with a young male. Or even if they're older than you, they're just less mature than you. And they're all about being sporty, being flashy, or just being seen as someone, something bigger than they are. You got money, wealth, luck, finances. There's so much that you that you have coming to you and dealing with someone like this where they're benefiting from you but you're not benefiting from them it's like beneath you like what do we have for aries when it comes to love what's the advice for aries when it comes to love I feel like you've already been getting advice throughout the whole reading but let's see no pain no gain so you went through all this for a reason it's not 
it's not always like exactly a waste of time. I feel like it would be a waste of time to continue with it after realizing that, you know, it was a that that this person isn't for you, they're not offering you nothing, but the pain was for a reason. It did get you to this point of realizing and gaining more wisdom. Slow down. What do we have for Aries? Yes, you can. There's two cards here. Hold on. Laugh it out. <laughs> True Aries fashion. Just laugh about it. You waste the time with someone. It's funny. Let's move on. <laughs> and we have yes, you can. This is because a lot of you are doubting yourselves. We have romantic. So. I hope you got the message here. Someone just ain't worth your time. You need to step in to this new life, this new you fully and not have one foot in and one foot out. The past may be comfortable is what I'm hearing. The past is comfortable, but it, it's, it's, what's the word I'm looking for? It's around its course, it's, it's, it's stale, it's outdated. It's comfortable, but it's, it's outdated. And you have to step into the new, the new you is gonna bring a new type of person into your life. So Aries, this is what I'm seeing. There's Scorpio energy, Leo. Could be expecting any of these signs. It's a lot of Scorpio energy actually. Leo, Cancer, Libra, Capricorn. Taurus, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, those are the main signs. So I hope this was helpful, Aries. Feel free to check your other placements if you wanna know what else is going on. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.